Good evening, guys. Sean Evans here at Lift Hills and Thrills. I am here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Yes, the very home of a controversial video that was recorded this time last year. Rewind to last year. Blackpool Pleasure Beach invited content creators, Jake. Content creators came down last year free of charge to come and review Journey to Hell. Now, fast forward this year, and marketing have changed the ways and they haven't invited a large proportion of those very people that were invited. Yeah. Look on YouTube today. There isn't many videos this year of people who have come down, who were invited for free last year, who have paid their hard earned money to come down and check out the event. Why is that? I wonder, I don't know. Make of that what you will. It's exactly what I was saying in last year's video, but we won't bring that up again. But if you were wanting to support the park and you did want the event to be improved and to support the Pleasure Beach, then why aren't you here making videos about it? I don't know. One can speculate. <laughs> <laughs> so we've paid £39.50 to come tonight mm -hmm. to do a video. Uh, £39.50, it could be the same terrible event, it could be It could be brilliant, we don't know. All we know is that what we're going to do in this video is if something's good, we're going to record it normally, like this. <laughs> if something is bad... We are going to record it like this. So if the maze is bad, <laughs> we are going to record it like this. Mm -hmm. Because if you're clowning around with us, we gonna clown around with you. Mm -hmm. So you know what time it is? Let's get spooky! Right, so we're going through the brand new Pleasure Beach shop. Brand new for this season. It's stunning in here. It, credit where credit is due. They smash it with retail each and every single time. It's a beautiful store. It's a beautiful space. And there's more merchandise in here than any UK theme park. Much better range than any theme park. Everything is catered to each individual ride. It's beautiful, it's affordable, and they smash it out of the park every single time. Got the Journey to Hell merch, which is the Diacara Loco Dodgems. And that is the lineup. We've got The Lost, we've got Twisted Tunnels, we've got Ghost Train, Vault of Shadows, Possessed, Dante's Inferno, Freak House. And yes, that is the lineup for Journey to Hell. Journey to Hell. Are you scared, Lauren? Are you scared on your journey to hell? I am. <laughs> I smell poopy. <laughs> Seeing it might be good, or the event might be child's play. Right, so we got vouchers just like last year. We go around, it's more of a free roaming experience. Got some nice little artwork there as you go in. We got one of these guys who was in the big one queue line and the werewolf just ca <laughs> casually just chilling out here. Wow. <laughs> 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 chase it! Chase it! That is a cool costume. Every single year, that's a cool costume. Having the actors in the entrance is actually better. You are right, Jess. Yes. So we found a positive already. So they're not scattered in various queue lines or certain areas where you ended up missing them. You can actually get an interaction the second you come in, straight by the entrance. We got the clown maze there. Entertainment on stage again. I just like walking around Pleasure Beach at night, to be honest with you. He came for him. It's so busy tonight. It's good. It's good for the park, but... It's the only Halloween thing to do in Blackpool. It will get a big crowd because it's Pleasure Beach, of course. It's still got that nostalgia. It's still got that, that draw. Someone tried to sell to me that it's a busy event, that means it's a good of no. It, just because it's busy doesn't mean it's good. Just a random clown. Alright, looks like the River Caves has got the shortest queue, so looks like we're going on here. Much, much, much scaled back. No voodoo guy, no nothing. But hopefully, they've stepped it up inside. That's what matters. We're going in, Lauren, we're going in! A bit. <laughs> oh, there's a red light. There's a re red light. Green light. Red light. I feel as though I'm just screaming for the sake of screaming. They made it better. Yeah, there's three actors in here now. I don't remember seeing that. Lantern. Water. Lantern. Water. Yes. Oh. The positives of that 
were they took away the stuff at the start and themed it better throughout the ride yeah a little bit better theming throughout the ride a little bit a little bit okay the other positive there's more actors there was four or five four four, four. okay so more actors and a little bit uh, of theming just done at the start and a few extra lanterns at the end but it wasn't very good <laughs> no. so it was empty for large proportions it was, okay. em em it was empty for large proportions it was dead for large proportions yes yeah. is there anything else you'd like to say about it no there's nothing to say get rid of it put valhalla there get get rid of it and put valhalla there <laughs> they added a little improvement, but still, it, it's a terrible addition. And Valhalla should be used. <laughs> but it's poopy, Lauren. It's, oh my gosh, it's, it's so poopy. It's so poopy. It's poopy. It's poopy. In the jake, it's poopy. <laughs> oh, that, that actually looks quite good. Some creepy music. Right, so Revolution's got some banners on. There's like a little scare zone. There's a few actors. <laughs> we got. It's, it's, it's not. It's, it's some nice lighting. Hello. Hello. Even the laughing man's been dressed up. Right. Hola. I want a taco today. We're going on the dotums today. Right, so basically it's it's just the dodgems. Right, so it's it's just the dodgems, but the guy in charge of it's dressed up in a costume. Thing is though, it's Mexican themed dodgems and there's no Mexican theme in the dodgems. The Dodgem cars are still the same. There's no Mexican characters other than outside. This hasn't been themed with any sort of Mexican banner. There's no Mexican music. You wouldn't know it was Mexican themed, apart from the sign at the front. All right, see you on the other side. So this, this is a nice little Mexican atmosphere, but those Dodgems were not Mexican themed. That was fun. It was fun. Right, so the positives is that the Dodgems are quick, easy to handle, good fun. But dodgems are dodgems. It's a Halloween event. I wouldn't say that's a scary addition. It's just a ride that they've added to the lineup. It's fun. It's fun. But. Is the point in adding a dodgems to a Halloween lineup, Lauren? I mean, what is the point? It's like, why? You're paying £39.50 to come into an abandoned theme park. But why? Why the dodgems? Why theme all of Mexican? And then you go into the dodgems and there's no Mexican theming. Why? Why? £39.50 for the fucking dodgems. I miss Man United for this. Man United for this. I miss United for this. I mean, it's only Manchester United, so... <laughs> you ain't missing much. Right, icon in the dark. As you can't see anything, even the station uh, inside the station is blacked out, so you're kind of boarding in the dark as well. So it's, it's quite strange. It's quite, look at that, it's quite a bright light for my little old phone. Yeah, it's completely dark. I can see a train just pulling in there. And then it looks quite quiet down here at the moment. So hopefully we can just get on. And then it's literally, the lights come on in the station when people are disembarking the ride, which is fair enough. Enzo in the dark with blindfold on would be something special actually. Icon is a cracking roller coaster. It's a good roller coaster. It's even good at night after it's been warmed up all day. It's intense, you get lots of airtime. It's a nice Mac ride for Blackpool Pleasure Beach. It's a good ride. It suits the park. It's a wonderful ride in the day. But if you pay your normal entry price, you can ride Icon as many times as you want. We could only do it once tonight. Once. But here's the negatives. It is Icon in the dark. There is nothing that has been added. Yep. More stuff has actually been taken away. You do not wear blindfolds anymore. No blindfolds. no blindfolds, nothing. No launch audio, apart from a few extra creature sounds, but no proper launch audio like it used to have, like all the other years when you're blindfolded. No onboard audio has been added. No changes have been added. No. The staff members wear little hooded garments, and that is it. it. 
it's just I caught in the dog. Once again, Blackpool Pleasure Beach relying on their rides to save themselves from a quite a subpar, so far, event. River Caves, slightly improved. Dodgems, you're pushing it, adding the Dodgems is like an extra Halloween thing. Theming it around the Mexican thing would have been great if the Dodgems were themed around the Mexican theme. Mm -hmm. Icon in the Dark is Icon in the Dark. Yeah. What he said. What about you, Lauren? You love the ride, but but they hadn't changed nothing. No, it's just Icon in the Dark, that's it. But you like Icon in the I Dark. I do. It's good. It's good, but no theming would be Oh my God. Right, up next we're doing the Lost, which is in the Nickelodeon Land yeah. building. Um, this wasn't very good last year, lots of guardrails, but it could have improved. Oh no, I can see netting. I can hold she's coming. Okay. one of the worst things I ever seen in my life. What in the B&M bargains was that? Exactly the same as last year. No effort. Scenes too wide. No close-up scares. Guardrails with cloth over them. That was shocking. There's no improvement that has been made in there. When they've got a building that big to do something with. Just get a coaster in there and get rid of that from the Journey to Hell lineup because that is appalling. Plastic chains, they make it work. cloth by turning the lights. Oh, yeah, the lights are all the same. Last year was dark with like little strip lights of LEDs to guide you. This time all the lights are on, you can see where you're going. Terrible. That was shocking. That was the worst phase. That makes Spooky World look world class. Yeah, it does. And they had no action. Whilst this looks really nice, one thing I am glad they got rid of was the train ride last year that one of the staff members come up and said don't even bother going on because it's it's, it's swear words in, in, in that description yeah they they are they they failed with that one and they got rid of it and rightly so right on to the next one one thing that i will say is that this music does not go with a halloween vibe it's meant to be creating an atmosphere and we got a clown doing a boogie all right twisted tunnels straight into there now going underneath the pleasure beach i like the fact that we get to explore the tunnels i'm just not a big fan of what they've done under there but but they may have improved it so far they haven't i have to be really really honest but i'm still optimistic um, um we're still in a horror maze by the way we're still inside a horror maze by the way the tunnels went on for too long it went on for so damn long and nothing happened. We skipped scenes, we went through, we were rushed through. We actually skipped two scenes. We didn't see the butcher, we skipped through. Next video, we were in a winter wonderland. We could have met Santa. It's meant to be a Halloween event. Santa was there, I got excited. Santa wasn't there, I didn't get excited anymore. One thing that I won't need a filter for is the ghost train. Because even if it's just a standard ride on the ghost train without any actors, even though there are actors, it's still going to be pretty good even if Pleasure Beach are relying on rides but if you want any ride to be included in the lineup or the only ride to be included in the lineup it's got to be this one okay. <laughs> oh it's creepy on your own not gonna lie Really creepy on your own. I'm all alone, and I know this. I'm not gonna be alone for much longer. Ah! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Well, that's a new sound effect. I think. jumped a mile. The web, the web, the web. Oh. I put the. Did you run away? That's you. What in the world? Dang. 
It works with actors, put it that way. It's... New sound effects, new set pieces, that's new. Unless I just haven't spotted it before. So that painting's new as well. That's Andy Highgate. What's Andy? Oh, oh no. Oh, that's terrible, Andy. That's terrible. <laughs> No, nope, no filter needed. Yeah, on your own, it was scary. And for some reason, they, well, it just amplified it. Yeah, it's three times. I yeah, I jumped every single time when I had to come out. It was creepy, it was unnerving. You were on your own. They had new audio effects. They had new scenes that, because obviously I haven't been very much this season. New scenes, new audio, new scares. Love that. Brilliant. I did. Love it. Brilliant. Brilliant. Right, last. And definitely least was my least favorite is the clown one. There we go, straight in and hopefully straight out. Now what annoys me is that a theme park with a, a, a good enough budget, better than definitely better than what we had at the museum, does stuff like that to their entrance. It's just lazy. It's so lazy. It's shit! But that was shit awful. Shit! <laughs> Thank you comedy 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 so i'm keeping the filter on because yes. it's comedy and it's not scary i, I didn't pay for a comedy show i paid to be fucking scared she paid to be scared and she didn't get scared blackpool you disappoint me Bye. we try we, we, we support we come down we pay money we paid money we're thinking okay. there are going to be changes and you've not done anything with the changes I can see why you didn't want anybody to come this year to do the press night because you haven't changed a thing! Money grabbing. Uh, I'm disappointed in you. We've paid for a ride on Icon and some dodgems. It's been fun. Anyway, for a full day of riding and. I've, I've, got, no words. I've got no words to say. Um, the highlights for me were Ghost Train. Yeah, that was really good. I Ghost really Train. enjoyed it. Okay. Okay. Right, now that the filter's off, I can say the positives. So the positives of the tunnels where there was a few good actors, two or three to be exact, of good actors. So the tunnels had potential, there was good actors there. But, there was nothing redeeming about the circus. Ghost Train is the highlight by a country mile. Ghost Train is the highlight. Ghost Train, brilliant. Ghost Train is the highlight. And once again, for every single time they've done Journey to Hell, the best attraction is right outside. It's gone up to like 14 pounds now, so it is really expensive, but it's miles better than everything that you get in there. Journey to Hell needs a refresh, it needs a change, it needs a step up, it needs somebody else to take control of it, it needs money more invested into it, or you can just scrap this all together and come to the Museum of Horrors and still on Trent. Go. You do need to go. Bookings on Facebook only. Yeah, bookings on Facebook only for the time being, but everyone's Facebook. loving it so far. And we actually make an effort because we care about the people that are coming in. This me. wasn't good. Ghost Train was good. Dodgems were quick, but you can do that on a normal day at Pleasure Beach. Also, £39.50. Are you kidding me? Are you going to pay? I'm feeling I've been Sean Evans, don't come to Journey to Hell. It was busy in there anyways, but everybody has come out and that we've spoken to has said exactly the same as us, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!